The Powerpuff Girls is one of the most popular cartoons to come out in the late 90s. It has influenced many cartoons today and remains a favorite among Cartoon Network fans. But the Powerpuff Girls also had its own influences and sometimes they have shown up as references in the show. Hi, I'm Paleo Steno from Channel Frederator, and today we're counting down the top 10 pop culture references in the Powerpuff Girls. Though the show has referenced many other cartoons, especially from Hanna-Barbera, we're going to focus on its nods to television, movies, and music. So let's see what pop culture references in the Powerpuff Girls stand out. Number 10. Serial Mascots in Jewel of the Isle a robber is trying to get back a diamond he lost in a cereal factory, and that eventually leads him to the house of the Powerpuff Girls. He sees the girls watching a TV commercial similar to many cereal commercials in the 90s. There are obvious references to Captain Crunch and Tricks, with King Vitamin and Lucky Charms also being referenced in the name of the mascot, Lucky Captain Rabbit King. Number 9. Rock Operas in See Me, Feel Me, Know Me This musical episode is an ode to rock operas, similar to those like Hair, Godspell, and The Wall. The episode title itself is a reference to See Me, Feel Me from Tommy by The Who. Unfortunately, this episode never aired in the US, but can be found on the Powerpuff Girls Complete Series DVD set. Number 8. The Gorillas in the Powerpuff Girls Movie Near the beginning of the film, after the girls have been created and are getting used to their powers, they wreak havoc in Townsville from just playing. Mojo Jojo, at the time just Jojo, reads about this in a newspaper, where we can see some other famous primates printed on the page. The popular animated band, The Gorillas. Number 7. South Park, an imaginary friend. In this episode, the girls are getting beat up by an imaginary character named Patches. During the fight, Blossom is knocked into a coat rack, then reveals herself in clothes similar to Eric Cartman, a clear reference to South Park, which was hugely popular at the same time as the Powerpuff Girls. Number 6. Bob Ross and Roughing It Up. The girls and the professor are taking a break in this episode and trying to relax. What better way to relax than by painting? The professor is shown to have a fake afro with a tree's branch of leaves above his head, and he even mimics the mannerisms of Bob Ross with a soft voice painting happy little trees. Number 5. The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Child Fearing During the beginning of this episode, the professor calls up the mayor to babysit the girls for the night. The mayor can be seen playing what seems to be Ocarina of Time, which was a hit game for the Nintendo 64 at the time of developing the middle seasons of the Powerpuff Girls. Number 4. Silent Movie Stars and Silent Treatment In this episode, the girls are sucked into a silent movie after being dragged to an old theater by the professor. Throughout the episode, you can see Charlie Chaplin, Harold Lloyd, the Keystone Cops, and Buster Keaton. Though that last one may be debatable. That picture kinda looks like him. Number 3. Rocky and Bullwinkle in I See a Funny Cartoon in Your Future. This entire episode is a love letter to Jay Ward's style of comedy. From all of the puns to the midway cliffhanger, the style is unmistakable. Even June Foray, the original VA for Rocky the Flying Squirrel and an animation legend who founded the Annie Awards, provides a voice in this episode for Madame Argentina. Along with Fred, her sidekick, this duo is a reference to Boris and Natasha from Rocky and Bullwinkle. Number 2. The Big Lebowski and Something's Amiss. The Big Lebowski was a cult hit at the time of release, and it became quite popular with the staff of the Powerpuff Girls. So much so that it has been referenced multiple times in the show. The dude has appeared in the background, and in the episode Bot and Scold, the professor mentions a rug that really tied the room together. But there's one major reference in the episode Something's Amiss, where the mayor acts as Mr. Lebowski talking about Miss Bellum in place of Bunny from the movie, and it's an almost word-for-word -word mirror of the speech from the film. Number 1. The Beatles in Meet the Beat Alls. If you're a fan of the Powerpuff Girls, you knew this was going to be number one. This episode is chock full of references to the Beatles. It's in the background music, it's in the frames, but most importantly, it's in the dialogue. After Mojo Jojo, Princess, Fuzzy Lumpkins, and him surprisingly defeat the girls, they decide to team up and become the Beat Alls. And almost every single line of dialogue after that is some kind of reference to a Beatles song or lyric. They even reference the relationship with John Lennon and Yoko Ono with Mojo and Moko Jono. It's a treat for any fan of the Beatles, but can still be enjoyed if you're just a fan of the Powerpuff Girls. And if you're a fan of both, well, then you'll enjoy it even more. That's it for our top 10 pop culture references in the Powerpuff Girls. 
If there's any we missed that didn't make the list, please let us know down in the comments below. I know for a fact there are a lot more, so please do tell. I'm Paleo Steno, and I've been your host today. If you'd like to see some of my content, click the annotation to check out my channel. I do reviews on animated movies and cartoons, and there may be some videos there related to the Powerpuff Girls. And if you'd like to see more Tuned Up episodes, you can click the other annotation to check out more, and click to subscribe to Channel Frederator. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget, Frederator loves you.